yard haunt update now i have not been able to do a update in about two days now the wind and rain and snow and whatever the hell else is going on here this week um so i just i there was no point in me even coming out i haven't added anything i'm just kind of waiting out this cold snap we're having and the snow and rain and all that so i've just been waiting on all that to blow through and get it over with because halloween is next week or well, next weekend so we're coming up on the last few days of haunt updates so this is what we have so far the wind has absolutely thrashed this thing around um it's actually turned it probably 45 degrees He's uh, not supposed to be facing that direction. He's supposed to be more facing the road, but it works, I guess. Or I guess he's he's supposed to be facing more towards this parking lot, and he's facing more towards this way, if that makes more sense. So the wind has actually just picked him up and moved him a little bit. Well, not picked him up, but just spun him. I just have it zip tied on there, so nothing crazy, but it's still all there. Nothing's falling apart. Everything's good. It's just turned it, so no big deal. Our scarecrow has survived. It was barely surviving 10 mile an hour winds at the beginning of the season, and now he's here, and he's fine. I don't know. I think I moved him over a little bit more, so it's blocking it. So we'll see. But he's holding strong, so he should be good the rest of the season. We still have our zombie here. Our little tombstones here. All our lighting's out. We still got our caretaker. He still doesn't work like his arms don't, but he still goes off. So he's going to go off here in a second. There he goes. There you are. As you can tell, our wolf is getting beat around. And he's still randomly going off. Um, the other night, his batteries seemed to be dead, but he's still howling. So I got to get out here and change some batteries this weekend. All right, man, calm it down. Oh, we still have all our tombstones here. Like I said, I haven't added anything new. Um, the wind has been destroying everything. So I was just going to hold off until this is all done. And then I'll go ahead and start setting more out. Because like I said, um, trick or treats next weekend. So we will uh, be on like extreme go time now. <laughs> This week of wind and rain has kind of screwed everything up and just my whole plans of everything hasn't worked out this year. But we have our 12 foot skelly. He survived all the wind and rain. He hasn't moved an inch. So where he's placed is very good. The house blocks everything. And when it's really windy, he doesn't even move. So that's perfect. Uh, we still have our Grimacing Pumpkin, as you can tell, needs some more batteries again. This is like the fourth time I've changed batteries. We still got Sam up there. We got Freddy, Jason, and Michael all sitting up there. We still got our spider web here. It's held on. Um, unfortunately, the spider web up here on the porch it came untied because of the wind, as you can see. On um, this top corner here came undone in that top corner. Well, we still have Miserable Marie, our groundbreaker, this little guy here, Headless Horseman. He's turned off. I've just kind of given him a break these few days. Um, all our tombstones are still intact. They're still on the ground. Our flame lights, they're still working. We probably have, oh, I'm going to guess two, maybe three more days on those, and then we'll change those batteries again. Still have our scarecrow out here. I think he looks really good and lit up with that white light. Definitely grabbing attention. Like I said, all our tombstones are still here. Um, still got our grave digger. And we have our little witches here. And our grimacing pumpkins down here actually has stayed in place. I figured the wind would destroy it. And you can see something laying down back there. We still have our old hag here. She survived the wind. I have no idea how because her stake that she's on from the company is so chintzy. 
I don't know how she didn't break. But I need new batteries in her. This guy I still got to fix. This tombstone's kind of getting floppy. And honestly, I don't know what the heck happened here. The light is facing directly at my neighbors. Um, what the heck? Oh, I bet you I moved it when I unplugged it. That's okay. But our witch is laying down. The wind was so bad. And like I've said before, this right here is a wind tunnel over here. And she's right in front of it. So next year... I'm going to have to figure out a way to put her like right in front of the porch just to block the wind. Um, she was making a lot of crazy noises. Her legs are really bent, but it's just thin metal, so they're supposed to be poseable. So I just laid her over just to protect her. Once this wind dies down a little bit, it's still kind of windy tonight. It's not too bad. She, she would be all right to go back up, but I'm just going to leave her here for tonight. Tomorrow I'll put her back up. But she's there. She still works. Everything's good. I just laid her down. I've had a lot of people texting me and telling me that the, the witch blew over. Your witch fell down. And I'm like, no, it's good. It's just I didn't want her to break in half or something crazy because the wind was pretty violent. So she's good. Don't worry. And all these other guys, everything's good. Everything's still working. Nothing too catastrophic has happened. Um, other than that witch getting blown around pretty good. A couple of guys are a little bent, but nothing too crazy. So we'll just angle these, angle these lights a little bit more, since the, uh, as you can see, the tombstone here's gotten some wind. It's blown forward, but nothing too crazy has happened. But I'll just uh, walk out here, give you a view from the road, and let you see what it looks like. So this is what it's looking like, minus the witch. Obviously, she's laying down. But it's looking pretty cool. Not much has changed. Um, we're getting there. Hopefully, next week I can get some more stuff out and finish this side. I still have to go to Home Depot, um, get some 1x2s and some PVC to build my fence over here. I was actually going to do it today after work, and... I forgot my wife had stuff to do after work, so I had to <laughs> scrap that idea and then uh, hopefully I can run tomorrow and get that done. If not, I'll have to do it some point next week and try to hurry up and build some fencing. If not, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Um, it'll be a winter project, I suppose. But everything's up, everything's working, everything's fine. The wind hasn't destroyed too much. Um, I'm gonna have to move this, this guy here once the wind quits, I'll set the winch back up, and then I'll be adding more stuff next week um, to round off the last week of haunt season. It is absolutely blowing my mind how fast this came and has went. Uh, I've been dying for Halloween to get here, and it felt like it was taking forever to get here. And now that haunt season is upon us, it's flying by. Time at the pro haunt, we're already halfway through. We're almost done. And it's... Uh, <laughs> it's blowing my mind. I'm having a blast this year. Um, it's it's been it's been a lot of fun at the pro hunt, and setting this up has been a lot of fun. A lot of people stopping by, checking everything out. You know, talking to me, asking questions, and it's been pretty cool. Well, we've had a had a pretty good season so far. Hopefully, trick or treat goes well, and next week goes well on the rest of the setup. And I really hope I can get this fence done, but time will tell. Now, it shouldn't take me but a few hours to knock some of this stuff out. But that uh, just depends on how really cold it gets and all that good stuff. And if I can get out here early enough to hammer it all on the ground. And if I have enough stakes, I might have to buy some more stakes too. So, um, But if we don't get the fencing up, I'm not too worried. Like I said, we're already a week away from Halloween, so I'm not in a super rush now. Um, if we get to it, we do. If we don't, we don't. That'll be a project for next year, and I'll have all the fencing I need for next year. But that's going to do it for today's update. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys are fighting extreme wind and rain and cold and all this good stuff coming into the last week of haunt season. That's going to do it for today's update, guys. I appreciate all you. Thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you.
tomorrow. happy haunting.